Welcome. Today we're going to be covering the cheapest and easiest ways to access ANDR, how to manage ANDR on multiple chains, as well as how to send ANDR from one blockchain to another such as between Secret Network and Andromeda. Currently, the cheapest and quickest way to access ANDR is by first acquiring SCRT, which is the gas token of the Secret Network, where ShadeSwap is deployed. Users can acquire SCRT on many Cosmos ecosystem decentralized exchanges, but we will highlight the process of buying SCRT on a centralized exchange and withdrawing it to a wallet address on Secret Network so we can swap it for ANDR. The process of buying SCRT on a centralized exchange might vary slightly from exchange to exchange, but the process should be fairly similar. We will be using Kraken as our starting centralized exchange. First we'll need to search for the SCRT USD spot market, select buy and select the type of buy we want to perform. We'll be performing a market buy. Input the amount of SCRT you would like to purchase and then click buy SCRT USD. Now that we've acquired SCRT, we want to withdraw that from the exchange to SCRT's native blockchain, Secret Network. Click Withdraw and select SCRT as the asset you would like to withdraw. Now input the amount of SCRT you'd like to withdraw, and input or select the Secret Network wallet address to which you would like to withdraw your SCRT. You can find your Secret Network wallet address by opening the Kepler browser extension wallet and copy slash pasting your address for the Secret Network. Now preview the withdraw transaction, and then click Confirm. Once the transaction completed, you can verify that the wallet address received the sent SCRT by visiting mintscan.io backslash secret and copy pasting your secret network wallet address in the top right hand search bar. Now that we have SCRT in our secret wallet, we need to go to app.shadeprotocol.io. In this tutorial we'll be swapping for ANDR on ShadeSwap. It's important to know, all assets available on ShadeSwap are private, meaning they have encrypted balances and transaction history. This is made possible via privacy-preserving smart contracts that ShadeSwap is built with, as well as the SNP20 token standard, which is similar to the ERC20 token standard, except with privacy-preserving considerations and properties. In order to view the balances of ANDR that you swap for on ShadeSwap, you will need to create a viewing key. A viewing key is simply a decryption tool that only the user possesses, which is used to decrypt your encrypted token balances. You can easily create a viewing key for ANDR and any other token on Shade Protocol by simply clicking View Balance next to the token on the portfolio or swap tabs. Creating a viewing key requires a small amount of SCRT. So let's go to the Swap tab and select to swap from SCRT to ANDR. If you do not have a viewing key for ANDR, you'll see the View Balance button next to the token in the swap interface. Click View Balance and approve the transaction. Afterwards, you will be able to see your balance of ANDR, which is zero right now for this tutorial. Now input the amount of SCRT you wish to swap. Below the swap interface, you will see details about the swap you are about to make including the minimum amount received, slippage tolerance, price impact, trade and gas fees, as well as the pools routed through for this swap. If users wish to change their slippage tolerance, they can do so by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of the swap interface. Once you're ready to swap, click Swap. Within the Kepler wallet pop-up, you'll see the two contract executions being made, as well as the transaction fees. Users can click on the transaction fee button and see a breakdown of their fees including gas. Users can change from low, medium, and high fees as well as manually adjust the gas for their transactions. This is important to know in case you encounter an out-of-gas error. Click Approve. Congratulations, you have successfully swapped SCRT for ANDR and can view your balance on the Shade app with the viewing key you created earlier. If you click the link to the Block Explorer linked on the success notification, you will be taken to the Minsken Block Explorer. As you can see, the details of the contract execution message is encrypted. As mentioned before, the use of privacy-preserving smart contracts prevents anyone other than the user from viewing their transaction data including balances, smart contract interactions which are shown in transaction histories. This is one of the many benefits of privacy within decentralized finance.
If users wish to swap from ANDR into another token available on ShadeSwap, they can do so by simply selecting ANDR as the asset they would like to swap from. If users would like to provide liquidity for ANDR and earn LP rewards, go to app.shadeprotocol.io slash swap slash pools and click on the Shade ANDR pool. Input the amount you wish to provide for the first asset. You'll notice that when the first asset amount is input, the LP interface will auto-populate the corresponding amount for the other side of the LP position. The suggested ratio on the LP interface is based on the current ratio of assets in the pools. If you'd like to provide a custom LP ratio, you can do so by clicking the gear icon within the pool interface and click the custom LP ratio button. When looking at your Kepler browser extension, users will see the ANDR they swapped for on ShadeSwap listed as a SNP20 token on Secret Network. If you search for ANDR on your Kepler wallet and don't see the Andromeda chain balance pop up, click on the Manage button next to the Andromeda chain. Simply click Approve on the next window that pops up. After you do this, you should be able to see balances for ANDR on both Secret Network and Andromeda. If you do not see a balance for SANDR, which is how Kepler names private ANDR, this could be because there is an issue with Kepler using your existing decryption key. While generally this is resolved within the Kepler wallet UI within a few minutes of creating a new viewing key for a token, sometimes it is necessary to create a new viewing key. Users can delete their existing viewing key within the Kepler token list and then recreate it by clicking view balance on the shade portfolio page. Now we'll cover how you can send your ANDR that has private balances on secret to the Andromeda blockchain. During this bridging process, your private ANDR is being unwrapped back into its public bridged version and is then bridged via IBC to the Andromeda blockchain where it will be received as native ANDR. This process will require a small amount of SCRT. Select to bridge from secret to Andromeda and select ANDR as the asset you would like to bridge. Input the amount of ANDR you wish you to bridge and then click Bridge. As you can see in the Kepler transaction window, there are two actions being taken. The first is unwrapping the private ANDR back into its public version, and the second is the bridge transaction. Click Approve. Congratulations, you have successfully bridged your ANDR from Secret Network to the Andromeda blockchain. We can verify that it was received by looking at our ANDR balance in our Kepler wallet. If users would like to bridge their native ANDR on the Andromeda blockchain to another blockchain, they can use a variety of bridge interfaces. We will highlight using TFM how users can bridge to other blockchains like Archway, Injective, Kojira, and Terra2. To use TFM as a bridge interface, visit tfm.com and click on the IBC button in the top left corner of the screen and then click IBC Transfer. Once on the bridging interface, enable your Kepler wallet and select to bridge from Andromeda. Input the amount you wish to bridge. Now simply select to connect your wallet for Andromeda and connect your wallet for whatever chain you're bridging to, and then click Bridge. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more educational content.